Hello, today I will be installing uh, Windows 11, the preview version of Windows 11 and uh, the preview version of Windows Server 2022. Okay, so here we are at the screen. Uh, it's, it kind of looks like a Windows 10 installation, but uh, to be honest, I just think this whole thing with uh, Windows 11 is just gonna be a Windows 10 reskin with a different uh, theme okay so here we have a few uh, additions we have the home, home n, home single language, education, education n pro, pro n, pro education, pro education n pro for workstation, pro n for workstation I've tried them all before so prior to this video so it's pretty much the same but with different features I guess so uh, some of the additions here like home doesn't have the same features as uh, education does and vice versa between these uh, all these additions so I'm just gonna go with Windows uh, 11 Pro uh, accept the license terms and yeah, install now it's just going to install. I'm going to cut this uh, part and yeah, we'll pick it back up. So here it's uh, doing the getting ready, starting services, blah, blah, blah. Just as uh, you get on Windows 10. Uh, let's uh, wait for this part too. And it's just taking a moment here. We got uh, just a moment screen over here. Yeah, it's uh, obviously taking a, a bit longer. It's a virtual machine, but yeah, let's uh, wait for it to turn up. And we get the screen over here. The welcome screen. This is where you configure the time zone and uh, where you at in the world. Is this the right country or region? I'm just gonna go with the US for now, even though I'm not. <laughs> it's cool. We don't need to go through that. Um, right keyboard, sure. No need to add any layout for now. Uh, let's see. Checking for updates. Uh, we're gonna stop this part. It might take a long time. And here we have the, how would you like to set up this device screen, uh, set up for personal use or set up for work or school. Obviously, we're going to go for personal use for now. But, of course, you can connect this uh, window straight to the domain if you want to from the, that screen that we skipped. Right here, we have uh, an option to log in with our Microsoft account. I'm just going to go with an offline account for now. It's just a demonstration anyway. Uh, let's see. Kind of takes a long time. It's kind of choppy, I guess. Well, it's a virtual machine, but yeah, still. Let's just put win 11. Password, no password. Just let's click next. Uh, uncheck all these. I guess it doesn't matter right now because it's just... Uh, a video, but uh, I guess it's uh, <laughs> a force of habit. <laughs> I'm just used to uncheck all these. And there you go, you get the high screen and all that. Getting things ready for you, just like it does on Windows 10. Uh, like I said, it just feels like Windows 10 with uh, a different theme or something. Like they just did like an overall physical, yeah physical appearance uh, overall I guess I of course I also tried this with on raid so I could use it for gaming and all that I mean I wouldn't do it on my I didn't do it on my physical machine I only did that with virtual machines with VMware and VirtualBox and on raid and yeah I mean it's for gaming it performs all right I mean it just feels like Windows 10 really that, that's what it is, I mean, just a window stand with the reskin, a different theme, that's, that's what it feels like to me, so, I don't know, I mean, 
I wouldn't upgrade uh, this uh, Windows on my uh, physical machine right away, even when it comes out officially. So I'm just gonna wait for it to, uh, yeah, until I see something solid, you know, that's uh, gonna be worth to upgrade, you know. But yeah, let's just uh, pause this for a second. This is gonna take quite a while. And here we go. We have Windows 11. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to install the VMware tools so uh, we could have a better stability because it, right now it's gonna be extremely choppy and lagging. And so let me just pause this video to install VMware tools and uh, we'll pick it back up once it's installed. So here we are after I installed the uh, VMware tools right now it's buttery smooth it's a uh, faster respond faster as you can see uh, well here are the desktop icons the this PC the documents uh, folder network control panel they kind of look different I guess from the but yeah I mean it's pretty responsive the this Windows compared to uh, Windows 10 it's, it's faster I'll give it that response faster uh, but yeah this is the start uh, button right here kind of immersive and uh, I guess it, it, it kind of looks nice I have to say the search button uh, this is like uh, if you want to choose multiple desktops I guess oh right here this is the multiple desktop if you want to add desktop this is uh, like Windows dashboard I guess that's uh, a new feature I don't I don't remember that being, uh, yeah. Uh, this is the Microsoft Store. <coughs> Obviously, I need a, an account right here to log in on with my uh, Mac Microsoft account. Doesn't matter right now. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, let's just go over the properties. And task bar settings. Mm, yeah, I need to activate the... Uh, this OS obviously which I'm not gonna do in this video but yeah this is pretty much Windows 10 right here it looks exactly like Windows 10 it didn't change a single thing about the Windows settings hub I guess it's pretty much the same you see it's just like Windows 10 right here so this is what I mean about Windows 10 rescan um, yeah being this uh, like it just feels like Windows 10 with the rescan like you see the window has uh has, like round edges instead of uh the square ones like you have in Windows 10 but still it just feels like uh Windows 10 with the like uh with the like a physical overhaul that's what they did but uh yeah this is it pretty much i mean this is uh pretty much a Windows 11 right here what they claim for it to be it might look different like uh, in a post production post release I mean uh, so uh, yeah right now I'm going to install uh, Windows Server tw uh, 2022 and uh, we'll take a look at that one as well which is uh, a little bit more reliable than this installation because I don't know maybe Windows 11 would look a bit different than what it is right here but maybe not I don't know I don't really know we just are gonna have to wait and see what they're gonna do with the release uh, of the the OS, but yeah, this, th this is pretty much it. So uh, let's go over uh, Windows Server 2022 right now. And let's install it. So it's the same process basically, just like how you would install Windows with a few exceptions, you'll see. Uh, but yeah, uh, this uh, Server 22 it looks uh, much better. From what I've seen, I've tried it before, so obviously I know. Uh, let's go over the installation process right here. Don't have product key. We're going to choose Windows Server 22 Data Center Desktop Experience. Obviously we want it with the GUI interface. Could go for the standard desktop experience. For this video it wouldn't really matter. The only difference between these two is that you can run multiple Hyper-V virtual machines on this one, uh, unlike uh, the standard version, which you can only run two, I believe. 
I don't really remember, but it doesn't matter. Alright, data center, desktop experience. I accept. Custom. And we're going to install it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pause this video right now and uh, we'll pick it back up when it's done installing. And here we have the installation finished. Uh, it's doing the loading screen now. And right here, you have to choose a password. So let me just put in something. Password don't match. Okay. Hold on. There you go. And here we are. The installation is complete. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Um, the thing about this uh, OS is it's more updated. They have the background from Windows 10. There we go. Uh, yeah, I guess they finally up caught up with the background change from uh, the first versions of uh, Windows uh, 10. And here we have the <coughs> server manager over here. It's pretty much the same, nothing has changed since uh, 2016, server, Windows Server 2016. Uh, we have the same things over here, component service, computer management, they haven't changed a lot. It's more for uh, security and probably some other features, but yeah. But this is pretty much it. Uh, it rules and features menu. Really changed. This is where we would edit uh, the server. I'm not going to go into that right now, obviously, but... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I wouldn't d go any further than this. There's not much changed around here. Uh, the settings, uh, they finally, yeah, they finally replaced the uh, regular settings with the, uh, yeah. Oh, I actually didn't check that. Hold on, let me see. Yeah. They finally replaced the uh, original computer settings with the, they added it to the Windows settings over here, to the Windows uh, settings hub, like they did in uh, later versions of uh, Windows 10. So this is like, like, uh, yeah, a 2.1H2 Windows server, that's what it is, basically. Uh, yeah, and over here, you have all the settings and uh, whatnot. Right now it's all in the Windows settings up, which I absolutely hate. <laughs> I don't like that one. And they also updated the uh, Windows Edge. Like uh, in uh, 2019, server 2019, they would still have used the uh, Windows Explorer. They finally removed that and they uh, it comes uh, pre-installed with the uh, uh, yeah, with the Microsoft Edge Chromium uh, browser. Yeah, so pretty much it. I don't have anything to say about this uh, server. Yeah, I mean, you could, you might as well still use 2019. There's nothing really different about this one. I mean, other than security services and maybe they add, add more features that I'm not gonna go into right now because. Uh, this will be covered in future videos. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. Been my videos, my video about uh, Windows 11 and uh, Windows Server 2022 installation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it's been informative. If you just want the ISO, you can just look them up. They're all over the internet. The Server 2022, you can download it straight from Microsoft website about Windows 11 it's you just have to google it because uh, yeah Microsoft is being kind of and uh, they don't want to release that right now the ISO anyway but some people have found a way so you just have to google that uh, yeah but yeah that's pretty much it so I'll see you in the next video